So this is a good philosophy question. Does Georgia go to number one? I would say no. And there's a lot of AP voters who will put Georgia number one because they think the best win means that's where you go. Like it's a resume thing. But I think that you can glean as much from Alabama straight up murdering what I think is probably a top 15 team versus Georgia struggling and barely beating a top five team. I don't, I don't necessarily know, like to put Georgia ahead of Alabama right now, you would have to say one, Georgia would have done better against Miami and two, Alabama would have done worse against Clemson. And I don't think you could say yes to either of those. Um, just philosophically. Um, what do you think? I, I agree with that. I mean, Alabama, played a high level team and dominated them start to finish could have made that game much worse than it was. I mean, yeah. they called the dogs off midway through the third quarter. They, they beat them w- far worse than most teams beat G fives. A much better question, Daniel is, do you move Georgia to number two or number three? I, I mean, right now I've got them at two based on like Ohio state defensively concerned me. Um, Oklahoma, both sides of the ball concern me a little bit. Rattler had two interceptions today. There were, there were not great interceptions, um, in terms of like, you know, his play. So I'm dropping Oklahoma to four. That's as far as I'm going to drop them. And I'll probably have Georgia number two. Yeah, I, I'm the same way. I mean, I, I think Ohio state, we took a lot of heat. We've talked about Ohio State off and on. We took a lot of heat for having Ohio State like fifth, sixth in our rankings for all the recruiting. And I I talked about how I was concerned because I didn't think they had like explosive dudes. And you've seen that, I think. People saw that in the Minnesota game. All the concerns I had, all the turnover they have, and there's a lack of enough guys to make, especially defensively, disruptive guys to make enough of an impact. But when you look at Georgia in that game and all their flaws and however much they struggled – it's hard to say why Oklahoma would be ahead or why Ohio State would be ahead or, or, or Clemson, who just lost the game to Georgia, certainly can't be ahead of Georgia. So if you've got to put – in my mind, you have to put Georgia ahead of Clemson. Do you agree with that? Um, yeah. So, so that puts them – I think they're number two in my my rankings. I'll, I'll give that away. Um, I think the interesting question then that comes out is where do you put Clemson? How much do you want to dock Clemson for losing to Georgia <laughs> compared to – Oklahoma and Ohio State and those other teams at the top. I think you put them right behind them. Um, I, I don't drop them too far because the question is, who else in the top ten? And this is what I, what's going to frustrate me is the AP voters that that really dump Clemson because who else in the top ten was going to beat Georgia tonight? Ohio State maybe, Alabama probably, and that's the list. Right. So that's what's frustrating is like we're going to see that Clemson's zero and one. Right. And we're going to dump them because there's a lot of one and no teams. And that's just not the right way to do it. Um, in my opinion, what do you think? I do. And there's people in here like saying Clem- <laughs> Clemson is average. Are we not going to get out of here with that? Just, no, no. Stop. You you guys do not under uh, if you take that that angle that Clemson's average you do not understand how good Georgia is defensively. Ohio State is a really talented defense. Georgia is substantially more talented in terms of recruiting rankings, substantially more talented than Ohio State right now. And that's as much as I respect Ohio State. Ohio State has a lot more talent on offense. Um, but Georgia is more talented defensively. That is an extremely good defense. And they and Alabama are going to be fighting over who's the best unit. The problem is Alabama's offense is way ahead of Georgia's. Um, but it, that also tempers the way you look at Clemson and the same thing with Georgia offensively, they struggled a lot, but Clemson's defense is really, really good. And a lot of people think them to be easily a top five defense. So there's, that might be the num- the second and third best defense in the country may have just played each other in. Yeah. That there's might be some 20- really, there's some bad takes right now. Like Clemson's lost two straight. Okay. They lost to Ohio state and uh, like Georgia on the road with a you know a sophomore quarterback i mean come on somebody said clemson should be nine there are not eight teams in the country that would have beat clemson tonight i'm sorry there are not and what people don't realize is when you have an elite unit so georgia's got an elite defense 
if you just tweak that just a little bit, and I want you to talk about this, if you tweak that just a little bit to where they're not elite anymore, they're just really good, that that difference is enough to maybe give Clemson 20 or 25 points offensively. Yeah. I, it, it <laughs> Elite versus very good is a big gap. There weren't really any elite defenses. Maybe Alabama's was touching that at the very end of the year. Georgia's was, but when they were healthy, I think when they were fully healthy, they were, they were at that mark or close to it. But yeah. Now we talk a lot with RPO, you know, in the RPO era, you should be able to put up 30 or 40 points, even on an elite defense. We have said that. Um, So we've got to stand by it, but yeah, no, I think people are, people are overreacting. Let me, let me put it this way. We, we have no reason to believe that game wasn't 2011 Alabama LSU played in week one. The reason we didn't freak out about that 2011 Alabama LSU game is they had beaten, I hadn't both teams like beaten everyone they played by 20 plus points going into it. I believe that's right. Including LSU destroyed Oregon that won the pack that year in their opener. And so when we saw the game six to three, we knew that was just how good the defenses were. I'm not saying for sure that's the case, but Take a step back before you think that Clemson's like the ninth best team in the country because they struggled against Georgia. Uh, that that's way too harsh of a reaction. 